Once again, hello there, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today I'm doing a canteen cook challenge. It's called the Dollar Tree Meal. Go in Dollar Tree, right there. You can buy ten or five dollars worth of food at the Dollar Tree and make you a canteen cookout. So let me go get my stuff and I'll show you what I got. See you in a few seconds. Well, I'm Ranger Kuki and I'm doing the Dollar Tree Canteen Lunch Challenge. There's the Dollar Tree. The object is to go in there and buy $5 or $10 worth of food and cook it in your canteen. So here's a challenge uh, I'm going to create. It's called the uh, Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Canteen Cook. Alright, I'm going to go in there and get uh, 5 items or 10 items of food and make my my lunch canteen. All right, see you in a few seconds. All right, I'm back. All right, these, I choose the 10 instead of the five. So here's the 10 items that I have gotten. I'm making a, a seafood delight with Chucky New England clam chowder, some clams, heron fillets, tuna and water, Another can of smoked oysters, another can of chunkin' chicken, some beanie weenies, some white chicken, another can of fillets, and I got me some sardine bites. That is my my 10 items that I'm going to use in my canteen cookout. So I hope you enjoyed this meal. Now I'm going to go go eat it. There's Dollar Tree. So this is the Dollar Tree cookout challenge. All right, see you in a few seconds. Well, I'm Ranger Kuki, and today we're going to do a canteen cut day. No, we're not. Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Kuki, and we're doing a canteen cut day. We're going to do it here at the uh, blah, 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 outdoor classroom. <laughs> so let's go to... Let's go to it. Let's get to the... Now, I did, made a video of this place already. I just uh, never posted yet. I mean, I, I, I downloaded it. I just never posted it. You see a lot of, what you call it, um, private videos. So we're going to go down here to the uh, little classroom area and we're going to have a little cookout. So come on and join me. Damn horse flies. Also had a Dollar Tree. This is the Dollar Tree challenge go on a dollar tree and get ten dollars or five dollars worth of goods and make a cook a canteen cookout i choose the ten dollar uh challenge i went into to the dollar tree and got 10 items and i'm gonna cook it i'm gonna show you what it is again so we're gonna have a good good meal Look at these woods. This is nice, isn't it? Alright, I need another another type of stand. This thing makes too much noise. Click 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 click. Take a look behind us. Look how pretty these woods are. So we're gonna uh, do a multiple cook with 10 items from the Dollar Tree cookout. Let's go. And I'm losing my food. I need one big bag to do this. I need to get rid of all these damn bags. I got too many bags. Alright, let's drop this. Oh. Let's not drop that. And be back for that. Alright, we 
got the uh, bathrooms I think they're locked they're always locked unless they use in this area for a classroom if not they, they locked so we're gonna do a little cookout right here I hope you enjoy cut well I'm Ranger Cookie I I do I'm doing a Dollar Tree challenge to get ten or five items out of the Dollar Tree and cook it in your canteen. Now these are the items I picked for my meal. I'm doing a seafood delight or something or some type of. We got Kentucky clam chowder, clam. We got some white chicken, another can of chunk light chicken, oysters. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in or not. If not, I'll put the uh, the other can of heron filet. I got another can of white chicken, a different type. The object is to get different types of food. And I have beanie weenies. We'll have multiple cook kits today. I'm going to multiple cook on different items that I have here. So, let's get cooking. First, we got... First, we got the Stardo stove. This thing's been around with me for years. Tordilla stove. The alcohol burner stove. How does that work? Well, I'm going to show you. Been welded together and these little nuts and bolts what you want to do is screw these in then you put this in your container like that and that's your where you put your alcohol at and what you do is put your uh your pan on top of that little alcohol burner what you want to do is cut i'm gonna cut up my beanie weenies i'm gonna put that in my clam chowder mm, yeah clam chowder the alcohol burner is warming my my food up we got now now we're going to open a can of clams. Now you might not notice, but you think a can of white meat from a different can is going to taste different. It does. So it gives an extra flavor, extra taste to it. So don't knock it till you try it. All right, my heron's done. It's over here bubbling so we're gonna take that off put it in here and the reason why he I preheated that because sometimes it takes a long time to cook all this food so that gave it a boost take a look all right now we got um our clams we'll put that in there our meal all right now we got tuna we're gonna put some tuna in there now uh, my alcohol is still burn i'm gonna go ahead and uh, heat that up a little bit so it'll be easy to cook all right my sardines are ready so we'll take those out now we don't need our uh a geo stove we'll turn it off this helps me get the food cooked quicker because using a stern oak stove, it's, it does take a while to cook. Little bones, that's just as good. Now we got a big pile of slop. Oh yeah, slop. Now, I'm debating about the other can. We'll put a little tuna in there. Take a look. We got one more can of white chicken, but I don't think we're gonna need it. I think this is gonna be enough for me and my my personalities. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna put the cap on. Somebody told me to use this as the cap. That will heat up faster, so we can eat. So I didn't use the oysters, and I didn't use the other can of herring. So I'm gonna put that on the side for the next cooked meal. You don't have to use all the ingredients that you bought, but you can buy 10 or five items for your cooked meal. That's why I wanna bring a towel. So I can clean up my mess and my dishes after I'm finished eating. <laughs> uh. 
Alright. I'm gonna stir the ingredients. It's almost done. Flame stew going. Stew cooking. Hot for king. It's like crab meat and all kinds of goodies in there. Look, it got a tighter. Well, I hope you enjoy my my uh Dollar Tree challenge. I'm gonna challenge three people in this this challenge. If I can follow it, this thing. I wanna challenge Chris Coyer. I think I'm saying your name. Ten or five items and do a canteen cook. Also challenge. Let's see. I challenge you and I challenge you. I have to get your names, but I'll put it. I'll post this link to you, you, and Chris Collins, because you like to eat yourself. Oh yeah, what's his name? The one that says I like the way you cook. I've put some stuff up. You, I'm challenging you to do that, you. All right, let's take a look at this slot. Mm, yeah, look at that. It's like crab meat and fish. All right. I'm Ranger Cookie. I'm Ranger Cookie, and I want to say goodbye. I hope you take this challenge. It's simple as hell. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. See you next round. Bye. Mm, God, I'll give you one more.